the Ouya, one of America's greatest stories of achievement. It all began with a Kickstarter that raised nine times its incompetently estimated asking figure and also required an additional $15 million. The biggest console launch since the Neo Geo was well underway after all backers had received their precious investment or gifts if you are a German customs agent. The Ouya team succeeded in their goal of creating a gaming revolution that promises to topple Nintendo, Sony, and Sega, as well as return gaming to where it belongs, in the living room, playing games normally reserved for the toilet. The Ouya's smashing success is without debate, but what about its games? I'm Judge Reinhold. And I'm Diaper Chris. I'm no internet name Anthony. Today we look in the sandbox and try to uncover the killer app. Will we find buried treasure in the sandbox or a cat turd? Anthony. What do you think is the most amazing animal? The average carpenter ant can lift 56 times his body weight. That's impressive. Where did you learn that? I get the nature channel. Hmm. Well, our next game is called The Amazing Frog. Neat! I can salvage that. <laughs> good. <sighs> so, I think this game is going to be good. Diaper eating it up. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh on the mic. It's good. It's real. I mean, I'm saving my judgment till the end. Ooh, now this is a recent update. Yeah. The toilet. <laughs> it's a baby. It's the oh, you get to choose your episode. Wow, oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, wow. I thought it was just like Roller Coaster Tycoon and you're charging people to use the bathroom. Oh, we're, we're doing this. Welcome to Swindon. All right. Pick up throw. All right. I believe you should be able to join in. Uh-oh, two magic frogs. Oh, damn. I wanted the bikini frog. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> New feature number one. This is how they used to do it in the 80s. This is how they beatbox. This is how beatbox culture works. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Here hold on. Some hold on. Yeah, you can do a, hold you can on. Do a, it, it, get, yeah, you, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, brain hemorrhage, put down some cardboard, you guys can break it, yeah, we gotta, alright, we gotta put down the cardboard, I, look, could I have made an electric boogaloo joke there, yes, Will hold I on, do that, no, it's overdone, I was making that joke in fourth grade, you were, that's, now we don't really have a big, uh, area here, it looks like, we could figure out something here, oh, oops, uh, <laughs> That's where you belong. Ah, uh, yeah. You can get, you get in the cannon. Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, turn around. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, turn oh, turn where around. Where did he go? <laughs> uh, turn around. I think I went that way. The other way. Uh, where? Uh, oh. Oh, oh, my God. Shot, shot you in the butt. <laughs> right in the keister. I uh, kill hauled him. But good. Oh, oh, I ran into this. Shoot at that trash can. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> you killed me. I didn't press any buttons. <laughs> Man, that's enough buffoonery. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing frog, you've done it again. Lift me up. Don't no, lift me up. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> I you tried it. You went too fast. Uh, hold on, let me get up. The there you go. We can solve it. So <laughs> pull it up. Solved. Pull it up. There you go. All right, there. We got this. We got this. There. We got this. There you go. Uh, for queen and country. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, you're. Are you stuck in there? Yes. 
<laughs> you can't get out. Hold on, let oh, me fart my- oh, I can fart my way out. Alright, let's... Uh, get on that mattress! Yeah! I made a get big, an amazing frog! Made a big fart when he landed. That's the sound I'm making. <laughs> Alright, we got this. I don't don't drop that. <laughs> we have to exchange insurance. I'm sorry. Oh! Right. Oh no. There we go. I'm gonna throw this out there, guys. I, I'm gonna say that this is the first game that our commentary adds absolutely nothing for. This game is 100% good on its own. I believe it. I believe it too. Yeah, we don't. This game doesn't need commentary. Just take it in. <laughs> take it in, fellas. Absorb the world of the crazy frog. Amazing, it's amazing frog. <laughs> That's what I said. The crazy frog. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. Good job, frog. You you did what we were all thinking. <laughs> Man, this must be what uh, Afghanistan's like. The like, frog and all. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god! Oh no! There's <laughs> <laughs> a parking garage. Oh my... Another cannon. Uh, kick the soccer ball. Is that an uh, achievement? I think so. I think you get Steam trading cards for it. Yeah, uh -oh. I was. That's what I was. Gonna, I was like, th that's the thing. That oh this yeah. Game needs, right. This game needs like uh, maybe some like downloadable content, maybe some some chivos, right? Well, it looks like, like that's what, what if, they added. What if I wanna? What if I wanna download the Caribbean Amphibian song? <laughs> Is that what it's called? And, and have that playing all the time. Like, what if I want that? You guys remember the man show? No, never seen it. Uh, girls on trampolines. Is that what you're referring to? Yeah. Frogs on trampolines. And the farts. No. Very there was similar. A lot, of, a lot of farts. How come they never made a man show video game? I think they did. It was called the man game. Actually, I don't think those two things are related. No, I don't think so either. Fool, <laughs> get out that bouncy castle. He's having fun in the bouncy castle. Let him be. This is how I. You can I, play this. Everyone can play this game their own way. That's the beauty of this game. That's the beauty of the Ouya. Free the games. Free the frogs. Ah, right son of a bitch. All right. All right Let the it. revolution begin. You know, I don't understand how soccer still hasn't caught on in America. It looks I, great. <laughs> if this game's any indication. Where is the goal? I like soccer. Hey, try yeah, and stop would. me. You try would. and stop me. Where are you? I'm gonna score. Come here, you. <laughs> I'm gonna score. Oh, oh no! Messi free! No! Oh, he juked me. He juked me. This Goal! is what they did. <laughs> Goal! That's good. That's what they do. They score goals and then they slide. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> slide on the ground. Uh, your hubris oh. will be your undoing. Where was the <laughs> oh, no, my hoopers was my undoing. Oh, where was the keeper on that one? <laughs> the ref is just not paying attention. It's clearly an offsides. <laughs> Got a yellow card for farting. <laughs> More like a yellow frog. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you see what I try to tell you? I love you. All right. Listen, give me the ball. Uh, Come on. <laughs> this game does not have very good PvP. <laughs> you just don't know how to play it. I guess it. F versus F. <laughs> I really like the battleground system in this game. It's good. Eh, matchmaking sucks. <laughs> I always get paired up with Diaper. <laughs> Are you trying to trick me? <laughs> hey! Oh, no! Oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> so, here on the coffee tank, we rate games on a scientific scale. Fairy treasure or cat turd? Now, cat turd is a bad thing. Okay, uh, just making yeah. sure. I'm gonna Anthony. make no bones about it. I think this is a good game. 
It's very treasure. What well, I mean, what do you like about it, though? No, it creates it's it's a it's an interesting world to explore. Uh, why is frog here? I'm interested in the life of this frog. I want to see more. I want to see him jump and explode and fart. It's very Don't treasure. we all? Don't we all? What do you think, Chris? Well, here's what I think of this game. A lot of farts. Yep. I like that. Mm -hmm. What do I dislike? Pretty much nothing. It uh, is the perfect game. I mean, it is the perfect game. Mostly because of the farts. Uh, if the game didn't have farts, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give it a 10 out of 10. The fact that it has farts, uh, 20 out of 10. Wow. Yeah. It's as good as two games, and it's free. Thus, on your scale of dollars to playability, it rates in an infinity. Now, did did when the Ouya said, let the revolution begin, were they referring to the frog revolution? This could be the mascot. I This has mascot poten potential to me. So, uh, all this being said, this, this game is very fun uh, for the whole family. That's what I like about it. Uh, easy to pick up and play. Uh, you know, lighthearted. Buried treasure. Now, you know, the audience is gearing up for me because they know that I'm the one who's always on point and the one who has the, the keen eye for criticism. They're all like, oh, what's that old judge going to come up with today to, to shit over this, this gorgeous game? And you know what? There are several problems that I see. Oh, no. The, the one is the shadows. You have a Tegra 3 console here. And you got these painted on shadows to the the street poles and stuff like that. Come on, um, real the time dynamic lighting. Right, get with it. <laughs> Fucking Doom made it happen. And as far as I know, the first Doom was in 1976. You had to play it on a mainframe, but still, it was actually a, a screen overlay. Is that true? Yeah. Oh, yeah, like, like a... the light thing. That's right. <laughs> was... You know, George Carmack is a genius because he realized that the overlay could be applied to a user interface. That's why, yeah. But we're getting way off topic. The... Yeah, he rode in there on his motorcycle. He's like, ah, oh, the overlay. The crazy, the crazy frog, though, the crazy thing about the crazy frog is that there's no other people. People love NPCs. They love they love uh, flavor text. Um, this is like a post-apocalyptic thing. What is this, Borderlands? It's Amazing Frog. He keeps calling it Crazy Frog. Uh, by all accounts, this frog is acting both amazing and crazy, so I think both are correct. So, having said that, I'm going to have to say Fairy Treasure. There it is. Fairy Treasure. Amazing Frog. Buried treasure. Anthony. Uh-huh. Have you ever parked in a handicapped parking spot? Well, I mean, I mean, with my grandma, she got a handicapped parking thing. Well, our next game is No Breaks Valet. It's about parking. Is my grandma in it? Your grandma's not in it. No, I'm, I don't. No, this game is uh, it could be two player. Who who wants to take up the no breaks valet challenge with me? I'll I'll challenge you in NBV. Now, uh, do you know how to play this game? Nope. Well, I'm not gonna tell you. Great. <laughs> All right. Am I on the top or bottom? Oh no! <laughs> I think you're the blue one. That's the mystery of no breaks valet. Now. Now I'm gonna give you a pro tip here, oh. <laughs> Anthony. Okay. Uh, you can press a button to break. Wait, what? I thought this was no breaks valet. Uh, uh, yeah, calm no down. Breaks. Calm down. Oh no, it's Kelsey Grammer. <laughs> oh, it's Lindsay Lohan. There uh, you Teddy Kennedy. Bobby Kennedy. There goes OJ. <laughs> oh no, it's Billy Joel. 
Exana Baul. <laughs> David Duchovny. Ah, I'm the winner. Why? Because I had more, less breaks. I had less breaks than I never you? figured out the break button. Uh, them's the breaks. So no breaks, Valet. I mean, the, the title is obviously misleading because there are breaks. Mm -hmm. Contrary to no internet name, Anthony's uh, play style. Right. Uh, I like the MS Paint. The title uh, screen. Art style, yeah, on the title screen. Uh, I don't like breaking. In general. You don't? No. It's way it waste gas. I live my life by... You're a hyper mileage uh, yeah. kind of guy, though. Like, uh, you, 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 you throw the car into neutral... And then you do the parking brake. It's true. You're hyper it's mileage true. guy. Uh, you drive a Hummer though, so I don't see the point. This game, I live by an old Robert Frost poem. Yeah. It's uh, it's very short. Okay. It's one line. It goes, "I live my life a quarter mile at a time." Robert Frost. Wow, what a brilliant man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And since I live my life by that motto. Yep. You know, I don't like the break in no breaks valet necessarily. I feel like a quarter mile is kind of arbitrary. No respect, no disrespect to Mr. Robert Frost. Well, that was the 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 street racing subculture that he lived oh, in. Really? Yes. yes. A, a quarter miles to go before I sleep is what he said. Oh, so he didn't drive a souped-up car. So I live my life by this motto, and I don't like the break in no breaks valet. And no breaks for LA doesn't make you break. It gives you the option, contrary to what the name says, if, if there's breaks or not. It, it gives you the option. It lets you play the way you want to. Choices in video games. This is what the revolution is about. The Ouya revolution. That's why I say no breaks valet. Buried treasure. I'm going to have to disagree with you, Diaper. You know, my driving style uh, is inspired by the Tokyo Drift style of racing. Where I use my handbrake to skid across all sorts of turns. If I may enter turns, right turns, right turns, straight turns. Yeah, straight turns are the hardest ones. Yeah, you were using your handbrake a lot out there. You know, if if I could drift. Is that a joke? Is that a joke to you? That's his. That's his hobby. Listen, I don't have time to slow down and see if it's a joke or not, because I live my life a quarter mile at a time. You're right. I'm sorry. Go if ahead. I could drift more, if this game had more like neon lights and, and drift powers and I could get my, my combo up, I would be into this game. Are you saying you want more RPG elements? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> if I could get some RPG elements, maybe some, some combo attacks, some fireballs, some mana, I think this would be the game of the century. That being said, it really lets me down. It left me, left me wanting, it did leave me wanting more. It made me made me think that it was it was hollow. There wasn't enough gameplay there. So I'm going to have to say the cat turd on this one, guys. Judge, it's up to you. Oh, I know. I know what everybody's thinking. They're thinking, saddle up for Grandpa over here. Doesn't understand video <laughs> games. But, you know, please hold back on your, your barbs because I have studied video games. And this video game is oh, among went, the ones that I've studied. You went to full sale, too? You're given no instructions, except for the title, which is No Breaks Valet. But you do get breaks. Mm -hmm. What? Exercise some quality control here, Ouya. Did they even test this game? I, that's what I'm wondering. That is what I'm wondering. Cat turd. Cat turd. Cat turd. <laughs> Anthony. Yeah. Are you familiar with Indian dream catchers? Yeah, I made them in uh, Indian guides along with uh, burned pictures of cool foxes and uh, hammering things. What if I told you such a thing exists as a game catcher? Well. What does it do? What does it do? That's what I say. Our next game is game catcher. I'm excited to know what this is about. Yeah, I mean, because I thought Indian dream catchers were supposed to catch bad dreams. Or is this supposed to catch bad games? I think so. Okay. Interesting. Or good games. This is part of the Ouya revolution. Fight, let's just fight okay. it up. Yep, right, let's go. The... New game. New Hold game. on. Pressing the button. 
Come on. Come on. It's Hold a on. new game. game Hold on. It's a new game. <laughs> hit the Maybe hit the green jumping. circle. Did you, did you already, I'm hitting the green hit circle. The green Do you circle. see me hitting the green circle? <laughs> Somebody get him on camera. Show him the hitting the green circle. We don't have that technology. Okay. Okay. Um. We'll try the other buttons. Yeah. Uh, you want to show your controller, Anthony? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, here we go. Uh, new game. I mean, the directional pad well, works. Is the, all right, so I'm using an Xbox controller. Does the green is the green button the same, or is it the yeah, it should be the the, the green button's the same. Okay, that, the, the, green the green button, button is in the same spot. Just, just press the green button. Yeah. You pressing it? Pressing it. Maybe, pressing it. Here, all right. Well, I mean, let's I, press it at the same time. All right. One, one two, two, three. three. It's like battle toads. Oh, no. No. Okay. Well, uh, well there, look, there's help down there. Go to help. Maybe that'll it'll explain how to press the button. Yeah. I take it it's not working. No, <laughs> it's, 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 you don't know that. You don't know that for sure. Maybe I have is... a lot of empirical evidence to suggest it. Well, it's, all right. Um, so nothing works. Not any of the triggers or any of the. No. Uh, all right. So uh, uh, game catcher. Game catcher. Let's let's okay. do this. All right. So. Uh, I mean, uh, you want to start? Internet name Anthony. <laughs> So, game catcher, right? Uh, first of all, I, let, I mean, we can only talk about what we saw, obviously. So, mm -hmm. let's talk about that. Uh, I, I like the font. Uh, it's very retro-y, right? It mm -hmm. That's very of, hip right it now. It harkens back to a to an age of a simpler time in video gaming when we were all about shooting and jumping and jumping and shooting. Mm -hmm. I like that. It, it brings me back. There's definitely a nostalgia element to it. Um... There was like some flashy colors there on the on the intro screen. That was good, right? There, that was mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. It's very it's very like a very minimalistic presentation. I like that. You know, it's not mm -hmm. throwing laser beams at me. It's not you know throwing jump yep. kicking samurai at me. I like that. It gives me uh, it makes you wonder what the game's all about, right? A uh, lot of options there. We, we got new game, load game options, exit game, uh, help, which wasn't any help at all. Um. Didn't work. All that being said, I think this game has potential, but I don't know. I feel like uh, it's probably a buried treasure if we ever get to play it. Chris? Well, what do I see when I see Game Catcher? I see failed potential. I load up this game, right? I think it's gonna be about collecting catching mm -hmm. it's gonna harken back to the glory days of pokemons we'll never know it reminds me of another failed potential game in the history of video games that's a little something called street Mass fighter Effect three oh street fighter the game the movie the movie game yeah the game about the movie about the game yeah yeah the yeah movie. Movie game. I know about that. I read about it once in a magazine. I played it once in real life. That's not real. I did. I Where did you it play? On it? Sega Saturn in my friend's basement. I don't think that game ever he, came out. <laughs> did you have the one copy in the universe? <laughs> I did. It's worth sixty thousand dollars now. Yeah, I heard they buried them actually in a landfill in. Uh, no, they just Arizona. buried it with uh, Raul Julia. These are events in my life: Street Fighter, the game, the movie, the game. Not playing it. Uh, Never playing Earthbound 64. Tragedy. Tragedy, right? Look great. Failed potential. Uh, Where is it, Wii console? Where is it? Yeah. So, uh, Game Catcher, I'd love to give you a buried treasure, but I got to give you a cat turd because I just don't know what it would have been. I can't rate potential. So, I can't reward potential. So we got a split here. And I know what the audience is thinking is that Judge never gets it. He's always the doofus, you know. He's, he never gets it. I'm going to tell you something. I get it. I get this game. You know, these guys don't, though. And it's pretty typical. All right, I'm going to love it with you. It's pretty typical. When somebody on SA accuses a guy of releasing a game with a Bitcoin miner in it, and they try to get him banned, that's a joke. When they say the Ouya has HDCP and I shouldn't be able to record it, that's another joke. Game catcher is a joke. You know you guys don't get it. You know what? It's so obvious. No, you... no, 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 let me explain. Let me explain. Because you two dunderheads don't understand it. 
Gamecatcher wants you to put the game on the TV and throw the TV out the window to a friend. You're supposed to catch the game that way. Oh, I didn't get it. I didn't oh get it. Oh, I'm here oh, waiting. Fuck. How could I not? That's so obvious. You, what you're saying, this is a smart people's game. Right, yeah. This is and a, of course, these two guys didn't get it. We didn't get it. Though I will question why this is 41.7 megabytes. Cat turd. Anthony. Yeah? What is your favorite breakfast food? I don't, I don't eat a lot of breakfast, so maybe like eggs and bacon and uh, like a coffee. I like a coffee, I guess. Coffee's good. Well, our next game is Donut Get. Oh. Donuts are my favorite breakfast food. I mean, I... Asshole. Now, I'm assuming this is going to be about getting donuts. Oh. Hold on. I'm trying to move. Hold on. <laughs> there oh, go. there he goes. Okay. All right. He just had to get a few donuts in him before he he, he got out of the... He, he felt like moving. I mean, I can relate to that, right? Sometimes you, you trudge out of bed in the morning. You're just like, ah, give me a donut. I'm not moving from this place until I get a donut. Uh, I, uh, very, I have to use the D-pad, which is very unresponsive on the Ouya controller. Wait, uh, what... Oh, it's a it's it's a non donut. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, like okay. A... Yeah, those are rocks, probably crack rocks, because the cop is fighting the war on drugs. Good. It's a worthy battle. It's a noble battle. So, like, just because the donuts are on the floor doesn't mean you can't eat the donuts. Like, uh, there should be a five second rule. Right. Exactly. Uh, my... Someone said to me the other day, you know, the five second rule is not really a thing. They're wrong. No, it, it, they're like, oh, you, you, is that you, why you have mono? It still gets the bacteria. <laughs> no, it, it, the five second rule is inherently made for fat people to eat food off the ground, right? <laughs> that's, it's, it's just like, how could you not get that, right? Like that's like they need an excuse. Like, well, so, well so it's like, healthier. So someone's like, There's oh, the, calories. The, the, the five second rule is not a real thing. Like, of course it's not, asshole. It's an excuse to eat food off the ground. It's like a politeness thing. Right. You say five second rule and you're like, ha ha ha. And you laugh because you're just going to eat food off the ground anyway. Guys, I'm a little concerned this game is not going to end. It's fine. It's That's getting it. redder and redder. I assume those are your arteries. Yeah. <laughs> you got to put up the high score for the coffee man. You do. My concern is why does his face turn into a butt when he eats a donut? Uh, it's a, oh. Look, his face turns into a butt. Controller wants to respond there. Okay. You're having some issues with the controller. Oh, they're fine. It's, it's very fine. hard to communicate that. It's mostly the D-pad, right? Yeah, it controls all with the D-pad. Okay. Which, uh, the oh yeah, D-pad, uh... Well, remember, though, we They're can't... not starting any revolutions with it. We, well, you don't that, know. That's not on this game, though. Remember that. That's, that, that's a hardware issue. Well. Oh, so it's kind of like a rhythm game. I think you're right. Um, well, Donut have, Get. I have a question. Is there a full version of this? Doesn't seem like you could buy anything. I think that's just it. Well, there's a Facebook logo in the corner and a Twitter logo. All right. And you so can tweet and you can tweet it. Th this yeah, has been, oh, hold on. Go touch your on. television screen. And... No, oh, yeah, the Ouya the... has a built-in. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> Go to Facebook. Got it. Almost. Go to Hold Facebook. On. Oh my god, oh what is my this? God. <laughs> what have you done? Oh. Oh man. Neat. Oh. Don't, Don't I get, get. <laughs> Don't I get. I'll start. Okay. Now you know me. Oh yeah. You know me. Yeah. I'm I'm not I'm not overweight. Nope. Uh by medical reasoning. I am overweight. Since when is 298 pounds obese? That's what I said. Ah, that's what they said. I'm always looking for weight loss tips. Mm -hmm. Tips and tricks. Because do I want to eat right and exercise? No. Yep. No. No. Yeah, cut I'm corners. Cut Better corners. You get. Cut corners. Cut corners and eat those corners. And what did I learn from Donut Get? A new diet craze that could be sweeping the nation. Yeah. Eat a lot of donuts. Right. And don't get fat. <laughs> 
Because that's what I saw. This is this is gonna be big. Okay. This is gonna be huge. Let the revolution begin. Donut get buried treasure. Wow. Here's where I think your assertion is wrong. Uh, you left out. Is assertion a word? You're, yes. <laughs> you left he out. He put quotes around ass. <laughs> you left out one step of the diet. The reason that he wasn't getting fat was because he was also eating bombs, right? So you have to get you get you eat all the donuts and then you eat a bomb. And then the bomb explodes all the donuts in your stomach, and then you don't get fat. Listen, I'm willing to do whatever the diet tells me to do. Right. To lose it's weight. A little discomfort. Yeah, you know, I've seen cartoons. It's gonna blow up your belly real quick, poof, and then it's gonna shrink back down. The paleo diet. Right. Now, here's why I. Here's the issue that I have with this game. I feel like it gives a negative, uh, negative stereotype. On what? Of. Our law enforcement agency. What? You noticed. <laughs> Where? That our, that our protagonist, our hero, was a police officer. Of the I law? Of the law. I didn't see any crimes happening in the background, did you? Well, there was a donut shop that was on fire. Oh. Much like, much like my sex. And where, oh. where is the cop when this donut shop is on fire? He's eating all the donuts. He could be off duty. Even duty. still, he has a responsibility to the badge. He has a responsibility to the badge. To protect and serve himself some more donuts. Cat turd. So are we split again? Split again. Split. It's up to you, Judge. Now, I know what everybody's saying out there. Old cop defender Judge Reinhold. Mm -hmm. But you know, not this time. Not this time. Because not only is he getting fat on my taxpayer dollar, He's also literally getting fat on donuts. I didn't that, see him getting fat. Well, his face turned into a butt on occasion, which is a sure sign of fat growth. I don't know if you knew that. There's an, there's a story going on there. The donut shop's on fire and presumably exploded. So that's where all these donuts and rocks are coming from. The donut being exploded. That's the non non uh, nonverbal communication that modern gaming is all about. Um, the aspect ratio, reminiscent of the iPhone. People love the iPhone, and I think it's because of the aspect ratio. So this game has all the marks of, su of success. I'm going to have to say buried treasure. Donut get Buried treasure. Buried treasure. <laughs>